and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a deck we're calling Turn to Kills. This is a perfect deck for Meme Tier Monday, what we have going on here. This deck that's not necessarily going to win a bunch, but we do have the opportunity to kill on turn two, and we're going all in making a deck that, that can do that. Um, and so it's not, not going to be very likely, but we're going to try to pull it off. So basically what we need is we need like Sparring Student on like turn one. That's our best one drop to play on turn one, because then, then on turn two, we're going to try to play a whole bunch of allies you know, basically empty the rest of our hand, and that will give the Sparking Student plus one, plus one for each one of those. So by turn two, we can have six total cards. And so best case scenario is, you know, Sparring Student on turn one, and then turn two, we can have Oblivious Islander, and then um, two Fading Memories to be able to copy Oblivious Islanders. So that's four cards. And then, like, a, a Shadow Fiend or a Stygian Onlooker as an extra, as like the last card to be able to play out of those, so that'd be five. And uh, and then with the sixth card in hand, just a Claws of the Dragon that can come into play for free um, from playing the two Fading Memories. So <laughs> thanks, Kitty Dexterity, thanks thanks for the hype. Um, so that's that's our plan. If we can if we can get all of that, you know, like maybe an, an Islander, a, a Shadow Fiend, or an Onlooker, a Sparring Student, and a Claw of the Dragon, and then a couple Fading Memories to put that in for free. Because the Fading Memories, we, we'll copy Oblivious Islanders, because then they, we can keep replaying Oblivious Islanders for like zero mana and get those in. That'll get us uh, six things in play with our six cards. And then our, so our Spartan Student will turn into a 6-6. Six, six. So it'll be six damage, plus then the four from one of these two. So that'll be 10 and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh no, is that just 19? That's 19. So we need two Claws of the Dragon. Hmm. Okay, so okay. So basically, okay. Yeah, so that, that works, but we just... Okay, so that does work, but we need... So like the, one of the Fading Memories just doesn't... You know, we don't copy the Oblivious Islander three times. We have to copy one of these other things. Okay. Um... Yeah, so there's there's some different ways that we can do this. It's it's going to be tough, but we're going to try. Um, we we tried this deck one time before, and uh, you know we didn't quite pull off the turn two kill because our opponent had some interaction. But you never know. Maybe we play against like a Trundle deck that all their stuff costs like three three plus mana, and maybe we have the attack token turn two and get to kill them at turn two. Um, so that's that's our plan, you know. And then besides that, we have just like a lot of other things like. Bark Beast, you know, they can grow, Ravenous Butcher, um, that, you know, we can get this thing out there uh, to be able to help get a little bit extra damage somewhere, you know, get that with Curse Keeper. Um, Green Clay Duo also growing, and, you know, so we have a lot of, like, other just super, super aggressive stuff. So we need to uh, get ahead right away and kill our opponent right away <laughs> with this deck, even if it's if it's turn two or not. Oh, cancel. We're going on over, over to normal. Because, of course, this being a meme tier deck, uh, going on over to normal. So the Stygian Onlooker should help our deck be a little bit better than what it was before. Alright, thanks, Enrio. So donation deck to play some more of the Gem Assembler. I appreciate that. <clears throat> okay, so this is definitely not going for a turn 2 kill if I keep this. I could mulligan everything... And then go, you know, because none of these help a turn two kill. So if that's all we want to do is just try to get a turn two kill once, we can mulligan everything and just, you know, hope for the best. But besides that, this is just a pretty decent hand. I think, I think we just keep this as like, this is just a pretty decent, you know, one, two, three curve. The <clears throat> Curse Keeper, um, you know, basically what it can do, oh, we'll just play Green Glade Duo instead for attacking here, most likely into Eye of the Dragon. Basically, we could have, we could like Mark of the Isles, our Curse Keeper, to have it die and put the 4-3 into play. Oh, uh, you think I should have mulliganed all four cards and just gone for it? I mean, it's always an option. 
mulligan everything. Looking into the future, I see purple. Pledge yourself to the shadow. All right, this should be us doing a lot of damage this next turn. Problem is, they're gonna have this three-five eye of the dragon, which is gonna be a problem. No, it's just not worth blocking. I can't let a, a pale cascade kill my Zed. Ooh, do I do that on Green Glade Duo this turn? No, I'm gonna wait on that. I do want this, like, I do want to be able to play this Mark of the Isles, but if I play the other Curse Keeper, then we don't get to do that. Gives to those who listen. Zed brings an extra attacker in, so we'll just keep the mana up for Mark of the Isles. So this gives them the opportunity to play a lot of gems if they want this turn and get a Dragling with that other Eye of the Dragon. Now I'm hoping double Green Glade Duo this next turn should finish this game for us. Sunlight guiding my brethren. Oh no! So single Green Glade Duo, so it's gonna be. <clears throat> that was not good. Gonna have Priestess to hit that. Don't, please don't hit Equinox. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Please do not hit Equinox. Oh, come on. Crescent Strike? have to do. Okay, they're down to three. What is gained when we return malevolence? Those invoke cards stopped us. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. But this is where our deck doesn't really you know do much from here. Kind of always have to finish the games right away with this thing. Which I guess that that that's maybe just the reason to mulligan everything. Breathe in, breathe out. With our deck, not like we're we're not gonna be able to get through draggling anymore. And like all these blockers, like this game's over. We don't ever interact with our opponent. Still testing this out. All right, so we got Ionia and Demacia. Okay, so we're gonna need Fading Memories. We could keep Onlooker. We again don't have the attack token turn three, or turn two, we have it turn three. And so that, that does kind of mean that maybe we should keep Zed, but if, because we can't go for a turn two kill when we have the attack token on turn one and three. And not on turn two. I guess we keep Zed. Oh, hello there. Oh. <laughs> 
This is <laughs> a very aggressive line. Just, you know, we basically just turned that into decimate, right? So that was just zero mana decimate. Skill and grace to tear if we hard cast this Claws of the Dragon, I don't think I am uh, going to be having two spells to put it into play for free. Oh no, we would have had two spells to put it into play for free. Okay. So I can Fading Memories, the Islander, play the Islander, and then play Zed. So I could have Islander and Zed this turn instead of just Zed, but then the, my Zed's Ephemeral, of course, but then I get an extra 2-1. If we don't want to play Zed this turn, we could Fading the Claws of the Dragon. And then play Onlooker. This gets a lot of damage in. Like, this is how I have to play this deck. We have to not worry about card advantage whatsoever and just get the most damage we can every turn. Sure. They're so down to six. Space between worlds. Enforced equilibrium. This Curse Keeper was a pretty bad draw. How I don't get to play Curse Keeper Spring, and Zed this turn. I wanted to play like both, you know, both my threats, and then go right to open attacking. Yeah, this is game. I guess I was supposed to play Zed on turn three. I guess I was supposed to play Zed on turn three. I thought they were going to be going like Fiora and then something to protect Fiora. But let's see. So if I would have gone Zed, they still would have had the Flea Feather Tracker. It's like we, we could still draw one of our elusives, right? I guess it's not game over. Like we could draw a Green Glade duo. Or, uh, or the one mana two one elusive. We could, we could. Uh, I guess this is a game if I don't play this thing. Sure is dark, eh? Hold nothing back. All right, so Navori Blade Scout or Green Glade Duo. We need to draw one of those two. Blade Scout or Duo? Nope. GG's. Alright, let's hopefully get the attack token on turn two and my opponent doesn't do anything. Okay, we're gonna have it on turn two. Hopefully I have nothing on turn one or two. Uh, the only... The only card that helps me with a turn two kill is Fading Memories. So I guess we mulligan the rest. Okay. Uh, Bark Beast doesn't really help. Oh, they have a blocker. How'd you do that? Let's see. Alright, I'm going to go Bark Beast and Shadow Fiend. Yeah, the Curse Keeper could be too slow in this deck. That's, that's a good call. The Curse Keeper has looked too slow. Well, that's a good 10 damage there, turn two. I mean, they're just going to pass over to me? I guess I just take the pass, right? Yeah, I mean, I have to. I can't just play Zed into Fleet Feather Tracker. We 
go ahead and Fleet Feather Tracker their Fleet Feather Tracker. That could be cool. Don't think it makes any sense to play any of the other stuff. Darkness. Good fa fading memories that Grizzled Ranger? Am I supposed to be doing that? Yeah, let's get a gri let's get a Grizzled Ranger. Next turn I could like play Grizzled Ranger and then sacrifice the Grizzled Ranger to the Ravenous Butcher. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Alright, let's mess some folks up. No. My sparring student. You did so well. It doesn't, doesn't matter. This is the best play. That's the best play. All right, now Zed time. Um, Bark Beast first. No, Zed first. Because we'll see what they do. If they... Okay, yeah, I don't think I let them play another... I let them play another blocker. See, I'm putting a 3-3 three, three into play. Who does not know the name, mm, that was a good card to play. Alright, get him, Zed. So, like, they can stay alive at 1. That's a bad block. That should, that should be blocking one of the three ones. I am I know. <laughs> We're not supposed to let him get to turn six. Are there, like, more elusives we can play in here? Looking for trouble. It found you. Yeah, maybe we should have... A, maybe instead of Curse Keeper, we should have that two-mana ephemeral elusive. Scouting ahead. This is quite annoying. Yeah, or maybe Doom Beast. Yeah, some kind of burn. Yeah, Silent Shadow Seer. Yeah. What's up, Jack? Yeah, we are not we're not closing out games too well. That's rude. Okay, so we're going to switch up a couple of things to the deck. Basically, I'm just gonna take out the Ravenous Butcher and Curse Keeper part of our deck. Because that that neither of those cards really help towards a turn two kill. And which is, you know, like what, what we're trying to do is the cool turn to kill. So neither of them help. So we, they're just kind of extra anyway. And they have been very, very poor. They're, they're just kind of too slow and everything. So instead, we're going to get some more elusives in here and some more pump. So instead of um, instead of those two, we're going to play uh, Silent Shadows here to give us some some elusives that are that are cheap. And then some more Keeper of the Masks to be able to pump up, you know, because we can see we can go wide. And so Keeper of the Masks will help pump stuff up so you're gonna play those and then we're gonna play one ghost um that can give like a, a big sparring student or zed or something like that elusive um so that's that's gonna be our plan okay so we're gonna try we're gonna try those cards out now we still we can still do our turn two kill combo because neither of those cards helped towards the combo if we're super lucky but that will give us like at least a little bit more reach of having elusives all right, this deck looks like it's a slow one. Oh, and we have the the attack token turn two. Okay, 
So neither of these cards do the turn two thing. These two can. All right, come on. Sparring student. No. Ah, we didn't get our combo. So it's we have to get like the, the perfect six cards. So it's not easy. How'd you do that? All right, uh, maybe uh, maybe another fading memories here. That would help. Fading memories. Okay, okay. So let's see. We can't do we can't do twenty, but we can do some damage. So we can go. Yeah, we'll just let's just do it. Let's see how much damage we can do. Ready, willing, and alert. So do sparring student on. You know, get another sparring student. Oh come on, Afro's in Sentry. Your deck's not supposed to play any blockers. That's annoying. So that would have been 11 damage on turn two. Next time. Find the signal fires. We needed Oblivious Islander also. You know, like if, if these were like Oblivious Islander, that we could have played Islander there and then start copying Islander and get some free cards. That could have been nice. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. My faith protects me. Scorching light. All right, so we're gonna have some more elusives. <laughs> Triple Blade Scout. They better not have Avalanche. No. Stuns my Green Glade duo. I could wait until next turn and try to, you know, then play all this stuff like the next turn and try to have the Green Glade duo hit them. Nah. Yeah, we weren't playing around Avalanche, that's for sure. I will protect you. All right, they're at six. See, that could do a better job finishing the game than Curse Keeper would. King of Trolls coming through. They had a good, a very good defensive hand, Smash unfortunately. Devotion through battle. This one's trouble. Okay. The shadows take form. We do have six elusive. These old Ooh. eyes still see fire. Six elusive. <laughs> And a Mark of the Isles for some protection. No, Harsh Winds. Look up for Reavers. Ugh. All right, well, got to hit him with the Silent Shadow Seer. Create a new one. Try again the next turn. But we got Leona out of here. Harsh winds. That was harsh. What's that one? And that one. Hey, dragon. What? Words are lost in the roar of the winds. These celestial cards have been upsetting. Hmm. I guess we lead with a duo, but leading with a duo does let them know exactly what we're doing. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. It's always cold in the frail yard. But I guess we still lead with that. Oh, 
Okay, that's why we lead with it. I have unfinished business. We have seven damage. Shadow take you. Sweep the left. Seven damage. No, hush. Uh. They look angry. See you soon. Their hand was pretty good. They got us. Our our turn two, you know, like we just had we were just like a couple of cards off. All right. Okay, give them the attack token. No, we have the attack token. Okay. We're gonna see keeping the onlooker. Yeah, let's keep onlooker. I mean, I could I could just keep Bark Beast also, I guess. It's playing a 1-1 one, one on turn 1. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Because I'm going to want to play Onlooker on turn 3. Okay, so we go Bark Beast. And then Green Glade Duo on 2. And then turn 3 we play... I'm not sure. Hopefully we get maybe we get another spell. Clad in shining sunlight. The Yordle here is with me. Scorching light. Maybe another spell. Ooh. Ghost. So if I ghost bark beast and then I guess I let them play a blocker. I think this is, is my best play of letting them play a blocker like this. Okay, cool. They didn't have a blocker. All right, so now which one of these do we want to give the ephemeral to? I mean, I want to give it to the onlooker, but it's just going to block the onlooker, and that just saves them the most damage. So I guess I give it to the bark beast, but no, then we need the bark beast to grow. So I guess I give it to the green glade duo? I guess we go green glade duo. Then we don't have the elusive anymore. Rain from a cloudless sky. You cannot sway me. It's brutal. That, that took out nine damage that we could have done without that. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Some things never dull. Darn. Am I flesh or shadow? First light mm. illuminates the land. Glorious light rains down. Questing claws. Oh, God, attack. Ever vigilant. Welcome to try. All right, so I mark of the Isles, the onlooker to kill Yasuo. I'm left with a 3-1. They're left with Leona and four cards in hand. Man, it's Steel Tempest being two mana. If Steel Tempest was still three mana, they would not have been able to play that Steel Tempest before and this one. They wouldn't have been able to keep playing those two Steel Tempests. Petal. 
Yeah, that's... Yeah, exactly. That's what we need to do with this deck, is just have, like, a, a lucky one-turn kill with this deck. Was, yeah, we're not... We're not winning any of these games go into these late turns. Especially when they keep on having interaction. They keep on having two mana removal. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Let's have a, a fast bonus game here. Okay, got Sparring Student. Let's keep that. Let's keep Onlooker. I guess Bark Beast is something I can play for one mana. So if we want to try to play as many things as possible. There's our Islanders. So we needed before. This, this hand could actually do a pretty good turn to kill um so i but i don't have the attack token on turn two so since i don't have it on turn two i'm just gonna lead with islander because this can attack for two where the sparring student only attacks for one this turn so islander is like the key of like getting you know sparring student into islander getting like the multiple bodies out here reducing the cost Yep, GG's. I'm not playing around anything. <laughs> no, I'm not playing around to make it rain with our deck. I'm not playing around nothing. There's plenty of killing left. The day don't need riches. Yep, GG's. Attack. You poor thing. That's still a good eight damage in. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Three mana top end. We're not playing around anything. They know oh no, an elusive. Hmm. And then they just have more blockers here. All right. GGS. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so our deck's not very good, as far as like winning games, like you know trying to win like lots of games, because it's just it's it's a glass cannon. This is. This is definitely a glass cannon where, you know, if one card like Omega Rain makes everything fall apart, you know, one, you know, one hush here, one stun there, one Mega Rain, you know, like everything's uh, just everything falls apart. But there is that opportunity with Oblivious Islander, Sparring Student, um, to get 20 damage in on a turn at two if you have the perfect six cards. Um, but... Unfortunately, we weren't, we weren't able to do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. The game, games are very fast, you know, if you just try this out. This is this is something that I definitely recommend playing this in normal. I do not recommend playing this in ranked, right? Like, this is not, you know, this, that's why this is perfect for a meme tier day of uh, trying to just pull it off and, um, you know, get, get a turn two kill. If you're able to do it, if you're watching this later on YouTube, if you're able to do it, let me know. Um, but yeah, if you want to just... Have some fun with just, uh, you know, throw, basically throw your opening hand down. See, you know, see if you can get like a super fast kill. If not, go to the next game, you know, in normal and, uh, you know, play super fast games. You know, feel free, you know, try it out and let me know if you're able to accomplish it. All right. But anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, also hit that like button over there. I'd appreciate that. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know. 
But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.